Hello everybody, and welcome to Jake's RC Stuff, and today uh, we're going to be going over sort of a couple of, well, one major last thing to do with the build of the Durafly Tomahawk, and then we're actually going to go into some maiden footage, that's right, I technically flew this model three times, but it was all on the same battery, just doing a couple of changes, and there's actually maiden footage taken from my run cam, which actually worked, I seem to have a, a semi-dodgy uh, run cam too, um... Well, first of all, you should hopefully see on the screen, I'm just recording this as black, but uh, well, I'll stick far as on screen as necessary, um, is um, the speed controller. Basically, I came to do the dual rates and put the propeller on, and the speed controller decided to set on fire, uh, kind of catastrophically, as you can sort of see. I think, in my opinion, that's the back, I think, that's burnt out and just burnt straight through the plastic. But um, because it sort of plugged in, it was okay, and so I started waggling the servos. Uh, I just heard pop, crack, crack, and smoke started rising out of the plane, and that's what I was left with. So before we actually flew it, I had to replace the speed controller with a um, 30 amp plush. Okay, and then uh, once I'd got all the rates, so after I'd done that, I did all the rates. Uh, if I remember, I'll put them on the screen. Um, I had a low, middle, and high for the ailerons, and just a low and a high for the uh, elevators. Um, we will discuss... What they were like, as I say, in the maiden footage. Um, but um, yeah, from there we we put I put the prop on. I don't know why I start. I've started saying we a lot. It's not we. It's it's only me. Um, and uh, we took it flying. And what will be coming up next is indeed that maiden footage. Okay, so here is the footage taken on the run cam two. Very first flight, I actually flew it on medium rate aileron to start with, a uh, low rate elevator, just to see what it was like. And it did need a couple of clicks of right trim, but other than that, trim wise, uh, it was absolutely fine. One of my very first impressions of this plane is I was unsure if I actually put the prop on the right way around. Um, so it was at one point, there are sort of like three separate flights in this. Um, I actually landed it and made sure the prop is the right way around, so possibly trying another prop to get a bit more speed out of this thing is something that we're going to do. Because um, this is full throttle, um, possibly I was slightly below there, um, but you'll see definitely in the later flight attacks full throttle most of the time. And this is on a 45C 1300mAh graphene pack, um, all the way to the front, uh, and something that I did notice is the fact that um, especially on low rate, there just wasn't enough elevator. If anything, on aileron, even on low, it could do calming down. I mean, you'll see in some of these terms, they're incredibly sharp. Um, but yes, um, the plane overall, I think I'm about to go invert in here, and you'll see what I mean. Here we are. So I'm having to put quite a lot of down in it, it makes the plane quite unstable, you can see it rocking around there, and you can see that's on low rate, by the way. So, yeah, low rate, anyone can do with turning down a bit, but... Um, the way I'm describing it in its current form is that it, with that 1300, is it feels heavy, in general. Um, it also, sort of, it is incredibly nose heavy at this point, which I think is why the pitch feels so... Loose, that's why I haven't really, uh, not loose, but like, like, not enough. I'm doing a loop here now on high rates just to see if it will skew out. And it did skew a little bit, um, both on the entrance and we're trying to pull out the bottom. Um, so it is a case of, um, yeah, that's high rate, Elrond. <laughs> uh, obviously, I have no idea which way that came out. Um, so, yes, this is it coming in for landing now. Uh, and like on on landing, like you're holding in a lot of elevator all the time, all the way in. Um, and I think it's just a case of this isn't a floaty wing, so the fact that it is slightly too heavy uh, is a nightmare. So at this point, what I did is I moved the battery about a centimeter to a quarter of an inch, or I don't know where that is. Um, further back, so it's now sort of in the middle of the battery bay, and give it another flight. Now this is. A very quick one because I basically did one pass, rolled it inverted, come on, there we are, and uh, it was better but still not brilliant, sometimes I hold quite a lot of down in, a lot more than what I like, 
Um, so I just bring it straight back round, or well, I might give it another go and then bring it straight round. I'll add it again. And I then moved it so the battery was all the way as far back as it can be in that department. Oh, in that compartment, sorry. That department, Jesus. Um, and uh, we gave it another go. So here we are. Um, and all this time, um, my dad launched it for me and then went on the goggles to double check everything was on the goggles. And from my understanding, everything is crystal clear. Obviously, this is recorded on the run cam. But it's, you know, I'm sort of getting involved in more. But the, the pitch was, you know, the elevator was always making me panic slightly, not 100% knowing what it was going to do, and I've had it before, when fast planes are very nose heavy, the, let me, I'm doing the CFG check again where you roll it inverted, when you put up, it sort of bobs, because it sort of, it lifts the nose and the weight pushes it back down again, um, in regards to bobbing that you see on flying wings, when you're slow on, um, steep tight turns like this you can see some wobble going on there um at this point i still haven't played with any dual rates or anything yet um that is this is me sort of going for near vertical straight up it did start losing speed but it sort of just kept going i think what i'm going to try and then this is just a power dive full frolic because he does get up some speed where he's going um but yeah i think overall um the 1004S batteries that are 65C that I ordered when uh, the CUG looked like it was going to be a nightmare. Um, I'm probably going to try them in this plane anyway, so I'm just keeping them on a shelf um, just to see um, if, if making the whole plane liner makes it fly a bit better. It's certainly not 100 miles an hour, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to try a different prop, I'll try different batteries. Uh, see how we go in regards to that. I'm just going to stop that there. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes from here. Um, I've seen uh, Matthew Ogborn's review of the Sidewinder. Uh, at the moment, until uh, well, I'm, record I'm recording this on the 16th. The 19th is payday. Um, and there are some other things I need to take care of. Uh, money wise, sadly, real life is a thing that occurs, but I wish it didn't. Um, so I need to get that resolved first of all. Um, I'm sort of not buying stuff for the Wimvet anymore. I mean, I have two tricopter frames here that I bought because they were, don't know if ten dollars or ten pounds in a sale. I'm not sure. I'm showing this to the microphone. The microphone does not have eyes. Um, but I, I always love my original tricopter, so I got I got a couple of those, one for spares more than anything. Um, but actually, yes. I mean, I haven't actually seen the footage in full quality yet because it's just in the video editor it looks fine apologies for the black screen that's happening now but they are you've had your maiden flight um or flights but yeah um so far um speed controller's awful not sold on that motor yet we need to see what performance we can get out of it um now i've got a different speed controller anyway we could have a look at going for faster setup maybe um I do have not the RS ones, but the the before the RS the the original red bottom Emax motors. Stick one of them on, um, but I don't really want to stick a tri blade on it. I want to keep it a single. When I say single blade, you know two blade, um, and see how we go. But yeah, I'm not actually blown away yet. Servos are excellent. I will give them that. They're incredibly quick, incredibly strong from what I've I've seen of them. But yeah, as a case, I need to make it lighter. Um, and I'm going to see props first on the original motor, and then from there, um, I might swap the motor out. But that's going to annoy me because I spent the extra money on the plug and play. I've already had to replace the speed controller. If the motor is a bit naff, then I would say go with the kit version. Um, but for me, it just wasn't really quick enough. To be fair, I have not FPV'd this yet. Um, I've also sort of planned FPV later, but we ran out of time. Um, but yeah. Um, not FPV yet, that was just a line of sight made on all of those. Um, but the FPV signal all the time was clear. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I will report back on my fiddlings. That's horrendous. You know, my, my changes, let's put it that way, uh, to the aircraft. And we'll, we'll see what happens. But for now, that was my maiden flights of the uh, Tomahawk. Thank you for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you need to leave a comment down below. Um, and yeah, here's actual, an actual video that proves that I can actually fly these things and they're not just built and hung on the wall. Um, and also it's in 60fps because that's what the run cam recorded in.
So that's nice. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye bye.